Oh. <laughs> One sec. Ah! It hurts! It hurts! Wow, I need to know what company makes that pre-workout so, so I can buy stock in it. Ah, uh, My Strange Addiction! So, today, all I know is the title, and so like Addicted to Plastic or something, I've never seen this one. So I think we're both gonna be shocked, we're both gonna throw up. It's gonna be kind of like sex. Clearly, I'm a virgin. But, you know, here comes the ads per usual at patreon.com slash wineboxpop if you wanna support me. Cause I swear a lot and YouTube doesn't like that shit. Fuck. Cunt. But if you don't want to just give me money with getting nothing in return, I do have one reward tier though. Go to uh, poppyapparel.com. Here's how you spell it. Use this code 10% off. I do get paid for what you buy. It's women's clothing. Some of the shit's pretty cool. Nice workout gear. Other stuff that's not workout gear is also cool. They have like uh, a shirt with tits on it. And that's actually, I think I'm gonna buy that. But I'm gonna get a really small size. So like they squeeze my uh, fat man breasts and just push them together, you know? So they're like, oh, are those drawn on tits? And I'm like, no, those are fucking real. Was that the, the cringiest advertisement in all of YouTube history? I'm gonna go with not. Okay, let's just get into this. How about that? Okay, I'm sorry. I think I'm just getting way too comfortable on camera. I'm gonna, sh if I could show you my dick, I wouldn't. What the fuck was with that intro? Are you are you kidding me? Like, why are you making it all like nice and heavy? We're trying to change my moods right now. My chemical imbalance is just fucking me up because that was not cool, TLC. My name is Kaylin. I'm 18 years old. I live in Sacramento, California. Who would fuck? Let me know right now. Just yes or no. I mean, she's breathing, and I'm gonna assume she has a vagina. I'm smashing. And I'm addicted to eating plastic. Still gonna fuck, honestly. It has nothing to do with me. You could be a huge weirdo. You could be, you could kill puppies for a living, and I'd still be like, I'm not a puppy. I've eaten 12 remotes. Uh, so that's where mine went. Okay. Over 5,000 beads. Whoa! Over a thousand cocktail swords. How, who is counting? A hundred forks, about ten water bottles, two pacifiers. Two pacif- like, I think that one's normal, but I'm get I know since you just showed it that it's not- I hate you. Three CD cases, about 50 hangers, about 25 plastic lids on to-go cups. About- you know, it could be 250, I don't, I don't fucking know. I don't even order the drink anymore, I'm just like, hey, you know what I want? You know like those little puppy cups that they give to dogs? You know, like they just know. They, I've seen it on Snapchat, really cancerous by the way. Do you think she just pulls up with like her face out of the window and they just like hand her a cup to eat? Kaylin has eaten plastic every day for 11 years. Yeah, I get that narrator, all right? I, I totally got the whole premise of the show, this one at least, and like, why doesn't she just eat Hard candy. Seriously, like, what really is the difference? I know for a fact candy tastes better than plastic. Haven't eaten it in a while. Yeah, I used to be really addicted to plastic. Used to break it down and rail that shit all day. But I feel like candy's a really good substitute. It's gonna, you know, decay your teeth a little bit. You're gonna get a little bit chubbier. But I'd still fuck, whatever your name is. Plastic is something I want and I feel like I need. She has consumed over 150 pounds of plastic and even chooses it over food. I'm really lost with this one. Chooses it over food. Food is great. Food is love, food is life. Food will be the death of me, and uh, it's why I look like a, a schlub. How can you, I get that it's an addiction and your fucking brain is ruined, but how can you literally be like, yeah, this literal water bottle is fucking great. This Big Mac, nope. That's bad for you and doesn't taste good. These chemicals... Wash it down with some paint! It's not the taste of plastic that I love. Oh, okay. I'm, I wish I, like, let it run two seconds longer. It's the way it crunches and feels, and it's a rough, but at the same time, smooth texture to it. There's no comparable candy. None. On Earth. 
Zero. In the entire universe, there's not one edible material that you could substitute for this plastic. Really? Really. The texture of a remote control is one of her favorites. I'll take a button off, and then I'll kind of like put it on each side of my mouth, and then I swallow it. I am so happy that they showed that. Wow, I'm horny as fuck. Uh, that was the that was one of the weirdest things I've ever seen in my entire life. She looked at the thing like it was a fucking hot dog and just bit off the button. I would rather see her just popping Zans. Anything else than remote buttons, dude. People's fingers are on this shit, man. Like that your dad probably jerked off, right? And then was like, alright, well, time to change it, and you're just eating his his grimy dicky hand fingertips. Yeah, okay, see, now, I hate how vague these are. Um, Kaylin, that's her name, I'll hit you up on, uh, I'll DM you, cunt. Kaylin eats at least 15 pieces of plastic a day. What is considered a piece of plastic, okay? Let's, let's start going through a couple things here. What do I got laying around, all right? My Canon lens. Is this a piece of plastic? Yes? Okay, that's kind of big, all right. Is this a piece of plastic? Okay. I would say you're right. No, it's not. There's a two pieces. Is this one piece? What how what weight and what size considers it to not be a piece anymore? Like I, like I say, I'm a doctor and I am a scientist. I like to look at everything really scientifically and objectively. Answer me that TLC, email me, and then bring your strongest and weakest person who work for you for me to fucking fight them. Give me my money back. Fuck you guys. I'm a hostess at a restaurant and I get a lot of my plastic from there. My favorite kind of plastics are the little cocktail swords that you get in your drink. On a normal, non-stressful day, it'd be a whole sword 15 times a day. And the fact that I am eating this much in a week is huge. That, just hearing her crunch, like, hurt my intestines. See, the, the real problem with this show for me is now I feel like if I was to walk upstairs and cook an entire huge meat lover's pizza and eat it in one sitting, I'd be like, at least it's not 4,000 cocktail sorts. I definitely feel like I'm gonna die before her too. What, what am I missing out on in life? <coughs> I can't believe I just did that on camera. Wow, that was, it's pretty good actually. <laughs> Anything for views. All right, this one was, that was like a minute and 17 seconds long. Come on, TLC, give me a little bit more. If you're taking my money, give me a little bit longer videos to make fun of. Comma, kill yourself. TLC is an entity. Hang yourself. Thanks for the content, though. Hmm. This one seemed a little lackluster. Not too much else to say. I mean, it's pretty much she's gonna... I just wish they had a doctor talk to her on this one. And they didn't explain, like, how it started. You know, I saw this, like, one invention on Facebook once. Where it's, like, this big contraption that, like, chops up plastic and, like, makes it into rope. How about... We just bring her around, like on a trolley, and you just like feed her all of your plastic you want to throw out. Oh, and you get to fuck her. You only get to fuck her if you recycle it enough plastic, though. It's not paying for pussy, it's not prostitution, it's recycling. Hit me up, Kaylin. Kaylin, is it Kaylin? That, I hope it is, because that's fucking atrocious. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, hit this face and subscribe if you haven't already. Two perfect videos right here. Do you think if I got her like one of those sucker rings, she'd like take the sucker part off and just eat the plastic bottom part and my dick?